In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use standard reduction potentials to calculate E cell, the voltage of a galvanic cell. Cell voltage, which we abbreviate E cell, is the difference in electrical potential between the cathode and the anode. This is measuring the difference between how badly the anode wants to get rid of its electrons and how much the cathode wants to take those electrons. Cell voltage is calculated by taking the potential of the cathode and subtracting the potential of the anode. Sometimes cell voltage is, has the standard symbol associated with it. We would pronounce this as standard cell voltage. Standard cell voltage applies to a cell that is being run at 25 degrees Celsius. If any gases are present, they are being held at a constant pressure of one atmosphere, and all solutions have a concentration of one molar. We are going to look at one example of calculating the voltage of a cell using this zinc copper 2 plus cell. In order for us to be able to calculate E cell, we need to know the potential at the cathode and the potential at the anode, which means that the first thing we have to do is figure out which reaction is taking place at the cathode and which reaction is taking place at the anode. Um, step number one is going to be to take this reaction and divide it into its half reactions, which we've done before. So we're going to take each reactant, we have the zinc, and then we also have the copper 2 plus, and we're going to write each reactant as the reactant for a half reaction. We're going to look at zinc, what's happening with the zinc. It's turning into the 2 plus ion, which means that this zinc is losing electrons, becoming the zinc 2 plus ion. So our zinc is losing electrons, and what's happening with our copper? Copper is picking up two electrons to become copper atom. So copper plus two electrons makes copper solid. Remember our goal right now is just to figure out which one of these half reactions is taking place at the cathode, which is taking place at the anode. So we need to know which one of these is the oxidation and which one is the reduction. We've got our trick to help us oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. In this reaction, we are losing electrons. The zinc is losing electrons. So this is our oxidation reaction. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. Our copper ions are gaining electrons. So this is reduction. In the last video, I taught you the trick red cat to help you remember that reduction takes place at the cathode. And that means oxidation is taking place at the anode. So now we have identified that our cathode is the copper 2 plus to copper reaction and the anode is the zinc zinc 2 plus reaction. All that we need to do now is figure out the voltage of each one of these half reactions. To figure out the voltage, we're going to be referring to a table of standard reduction potentials. They are all over the internet. You also have them in your textbook. If you're using an online homework program like Alex, they're going to be on that as well. So you can find them pretty much anywhere you want. Just pick one that looks good to you or use the one that's in your textbook. That one looks kind of confusing. I'm going to look at this one right here. So this, this is actually a pretty small one, but this has got a whole bunch of half reactions on it. There are potentials associated with each half reaction. And all we're going to do is find our half reactions on this table and look up the voltage associated with each half reaction. So a couple things I want to warn you before you just jump into this. Number one, there's going to be a lot of similar reactions on here, like um, iron going to iron 2 plus or iron going to iron 3 plus. So make sure you're paying attention to the charges when you're looking up these reactions. Second thing I want to warn you about, if you notice when you look at these, all of these reactions are reduction reactions. All of them have electrons as a reactant. None of them have electrons as a product. None of them are oxidation reactions. That's normal. That's how all of the data is tabulated. Even though one of our reactions is an oxidation, one of them is a reduction, um, we're still going to use the data coming from this table for both the oxidation and reduction reaction. And we want to take the data off of this table without changing the sign at all for the voltage. So no matter what, even if the reaction is actually an oxidation, we do not want to change the sign no matter what. Don't change the sign. So one of our half reactions is going to match perfectly with something from this table. And one of our half reactions is going to be reversed from something in this table. And we just have to find the two of them. Like if I zoom in right there, there's our zinc half reaction, um, and it is in the wrong direction. 
So our zinc half reaction is zinc zinc going to zinc two plus with two electrons. Notice this the, the voltage for this is negative 0.76, but remember what I said, no matter what, we're gonna copy the voltages straight off of this table. We're not gonna change the signs. That's something that confuses a lot of students. They always wanna change the signs. So I'm going to copy down the voltages for the zinc, zinc two plus reaction. The, the potential for that is negative 0.763. And I'm taking this data off of a different table, so it might not match perfectly with what we just looked at. And for the copper 2 plus copper, the voltage for that one, which we didn't look at, I didn't find that one on the data table. It is a positive 0 0.0, no, positive 0.337 volts. So to use E cell, we're just simply going to take the voltage of the cathode. The cathode is the copper reaction. And we are going to, from that number, subtract the voltage of the anode, negative 0.763. And we get a 1.10 volts. I want to write one more time because it's such a common mistake. Don't ever, no matter what, don't ever change the sign. The equation E cathode minus E anode has that negative sign in place that does the sign change for us. So we wanna use the equation exactly as it's written and it's going to turn the sign all on its own. We don't have to do it ourselves. So no matter what you do, don't change the sign. The E cell for this particular galvanic cell is a positive 1.10 volts.